everybody. Hope you're having a great day. I am coming in to do one of my most requested videos and that is about shapewear. I get a lot of questions from you guys about shapewear and um, what kind of things I look for, if I could recommend some shapewear, and most importantly if I would do a video about shapewear. So that's what this is going to be about. And I think shapewear is something that anyone can use. I think there are definitely a lot of benefits to it especially for those of us who don't have maybe the time or the budget to always have our clothes altered. It would be really nice to have custom fit clothes all the time, but you know, I, I can't really afford that. So shapewear really helps with that for me. And um, it also can create certain illusions if you are looking for maybe a va 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 voom sort of Jessica Rabbit look, or if you want shapewear to add some padding, maybe you have a flat booty, you want a little padding one day, whatever you want to do. Shapewear, there are so many different kinds out there that you can definitely find something that is what you're looking for and kind of switch it up, play around with it because um, a lot of you guys are probably like me and you shop at mass retailers so they use specific measurements that, you know, we'll buy from like, you know, I buy an 1820 but me being 5'1 at 1820 is very different than maybe a 5'11 woman who wears an 1820. There are things that are going to be super long, like the arms might be a little bit longer on me. Certain areas might bunch up or um, I may be a little thicker in certain areas. So shapewear can really help to sort of give clothing a more custom fit. I wore shapewear for, gosh, I know I've worn it since I was a teenager. I really like shapewear. Um, it's just something I put on, just like putting on my bra. So I wear it really often. You don't have to. I mean, you don't have to wear it at all. But I know there is a lot of interest in people wearing it, and there are tons of different kinds on the market. So uh, first of all, what I look for in shapewear, number one, is comfort. I like uh, pieces. I'm just going to show you like how this stretches. I would like things that stretch, things that are made without any wires or boning. You know how uncomfortable like uh, underwire is in bras? A lot of times they have that same sort of boning in shapewear. I hate that. It's uncomfortable after a while. That's not something you want to wear for long periods of time. So I look for the most flexible sort of pieces without any wires or anything. I also look for things without any like snaps or hooks or anything like that. Nobody wants to mess with that. A lot of times you can see hooks underneath clothing too, so I look for seamless sort of looks. Um, this right here is seamless, you know, you're not going to see it underneath anything. There's not even, you know, anything there. It's just like an edge, very nice, but there's no hooks or anything like that, any kind of closures. Just pull it up, very easy. Uh, I also recommend getting nude colors because nude colors can be worn underneath anything you wear, whether you're wearing white, black, whatever, and it's not going to show through. So if you can find something kind of similar to your own skin tone, then um, those will work with pretty much whatever you wear. So the last tip I'm going to share with you guys before I show you these three kind of must-have pieces from my own wardrobe is look for things that are affordable. Look at your discount retailers. Like um, I find stuff at Ross. I found one of my favorite pieces is from Burlington Coat Factory. Um, I found pieces at Target, Walmart, Meyer, all those sort of discount retailers, TJ Maxx. Especially if you're on a budget, look there because the department stores and the designer kind of high-end sort of things, it's going to be really, really expensive, really, really fast. So if you don't have the budget for it, you know, don't don't waste your money on that. Um, find something that is in your budget and I've been able to find some really really great pieces really affordably priced this one right here I'm going to show you $4.99 so you can find it if you are looking for it so let me show you my favorite piece that I wear because I wear a lot of dresses and so I found a piece that I wear under dresses I wear it when I wear tops and skirts sometimes I'll wear it if I have like a tunic and leggings or a long sweater and leggings because it just it fits really well with it and that's this piece right here. This one's in black because it's the one that's clean right now. But like I said, if you are just looking to get some basics, I recommend nude. Nude color is really great. But um, this one is shaped like a dress. It's got like, you know, that look to it. So it fits really well underneath a dress. This fits really close to the skin. So it's not going to bunch up underneath your clothing like maybe a slip would. If you don't like wearing slips, um, maybe this would be a better option. It also has like some rubber around the edge right here, around the seam. It's comfortable. It's not like gonna 
chafe your skin or anything. It just helps this to kind of fit right there without bunching up, moving up and down. You won't have to worry with like pulling it down all day and night or anything like that. You know how sometimes you have to pull stuff down because it rides up. You won't have to do that because of the rubber right there kind of grips to you. My favorite thing about this is that you can still wear your own bra with it, your own panties with it. A lot of these kind of things are made with a built-in bra, but if you are um, a person with a bigger bust like me, it's not always easy to find those things <laughs> in your size, and it's really frustrating. And if you do find it, it's really uncomfortable a lot of times. So this fits right underneath your bra. So you can still wear your own bra. It adds a little bit of lift if you're wanting that. And I really like that. comes up kind of high in the back, too. So, um, you don't have to worry about any, like, skin hanging out of your bra or anything like that if you did want sort of this sort of seamless kind of look to your outfit. But I really like this for shaping. Um, it helps a lot of my dresses fit better. It helps them stay in place for me. It makes it really easy if I need to get up and just sort of move my outfit a little bit, kind of flatten it out, but um, there's not a lot of riding up or anything. It just, it really helps with that. So I recommend this if you wear a lot of dresses. Um, the next one is probably my favorite for every day, and it's this style. I haven't worn this particular one yet, but I just wanted to show you this style. And this one was $4.99 at Ross, but it is the high-waisted panty. And this is beyond a granny panty, right? <laughs> but it's so tall because it fits right underneath your bra, so you don't have to worry. Um, a lot of times, this is the thing, shapewear isn't made to where it's long enough. If you have a longer torso and you're looking for shapewear and it doesn't go all the way up to your bra, it could create like that muffin top. And if you're using shapewear, then I would say you're probably not wanting the muffin top. So um, this fits right underneath my bra. And like I said, it's seamless. This one is really firm. There's not a lot of stretch in this one, but there are tons on the market, so you can find them that are more flexible, but this one isn't really. Um, but that's the thing I like about this is that, not that, <laughs> not that it's not flexible, the thing I really like about this is that it fits right up to your bra so you don't have to worry about wearing an extra piece of shapewear or something like that. This just will do it all for you. And it doesn't have snaps, hooks, anything like that. It just works like a panty, but it does provide some shaping. And you can find these. This one doesn't have padding in it, but you should be able to find some with padding if you want padding in different areas. I love shapewear because for me, my weight fluctuates. Um, I tend to lose a lot more weight in the spring and summer. I'm running around. I just feel more alive. And then in the winter, like, I've already gained about 15 pounds this year. So um, as it gets closer to fall and winter, I just want to hang out at home with my husband or curl up and watch a movie or something. Not as active. Lots of family dinners and stuff. So shapewear does help with that. I can still, like, I'm still in the same size clothing but my clothes fits differently. So shapewear can help with those little um, ups and downs you might experience too, uh, but you're not really in a different size clothing. You just need your clothing to fit a little bit better while you're working on getting weight off if you are or, you know, whatever. It helps with it. And the last one I want to show you is a tank. If the tall panty, you're just like, no way would I wear a panty that tall, whatever it is, you could try a tank, which can kind of do the same thing. Um, I would look for one that's kind of longer that will fit your entire torso. You don't want it to kind of cut in half at the middle and create like a pop-out effect. So uh, this tank I really like. This one is really flexible. It would be great even under a t-shirt. Any kind of everyday kind of clothing. And um, it's just it's so nice. But it does add a little bit of shaping to it. And uh, this goes up in the back. So it will fit, you know, over your bra nicely. You don't have to worry about any skin hanging over or anything like that, any discomfort to where, you know, the things meet. Because that can cause a lot of discomfort if, you know, your bra goes to a certain area and then your uh, shaper is down here and then there's that skin there. 
that could cause discomfort. I mean, it really could. So this is another one that I love, love, love. Found this at Ross and um, again under $10 and it's just it's a really nice shaper you can still wear your own bra your own panties that sort of thing so those are my favorites to wear that kind of covers what I wear with dresses and skirts and you know if I'm just wearing a t-shirt and jeans whatever you know you can pick and choose if you'd rather have a tank or if you'd rather have um, the high-waisted panty whatever works best but that's what I love to wear hopefully this has been helpful to you guys who have been interested in this sort of video Hopefully I haven't embarrassed you too much with my panty talk. Anyway, if you have any other questions, then you can leave them below or leave them in a message and I'll try to answer it. And that's all I have for now. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye, everybody.